Are you my buddy? Hmm? You're such a good goat, Delilah. You're such a good goat. It's hard to believe that you were terrified of me when you first came here. It is. And look at you now. Look at you now. You love the attention. <laughs> you pretty girl. Hmm. Yes, you are. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Such a good girl. Maple, are you jealous? Don't worry. Delilah can be the mini queen. Okay? You can be the little Nigerian dwarf queen if you want to. Look at this guy. So I am here with a little DIY. We are actually going to replace our rotting wood um, walkway that goes up to our mud room. I got a bunch of bricks on Facebook, almost free, 15 bucks for like 130 plus bricks. So I am going to rip up all of the wooden walkway that is rotting. It was here when we moved in and it has just quickly rotted out since we've been here. Um, definitely an ankle breaker. Plus, come on, why not um, add a little style to our entrance? So I guess it's time to rip it up. As you can see, it is just rotting. All the wood is so wet. So obviously these are really deep holes and ankle breakers <laughs> and some of these boards just kind of like rock back and forth but I figured we could rip it all out and use the bricks we just got and now the question is do we lay on brick pattern or herringbone how much work do we want to put in probably gonna have to get a hammer or not. <laughs> oh, yuck. That looks like some kind of fungus or something. Alright guys, so I had to run inside real quick because I needed some gloves and some shoes because it was getting nasty pretty quick. So we're going to pretend I'm Jessica Rabbit and these are not dish gloves. <laughs> but, um... I guess now I can actually crack down and get it done without worrying about spiders. All right, so we're down to the ground without the little boardwalk, and I'm just going to kind of like scrape it out, level it off, and then just start playing with brick patterns because I'm really not sure where I want to go with it yet. All right, so there's these little um, braces that they had screwed to the planks to create a frame, and they're pretty rotted, but I still need a saw to get through some of it just to get it out of the way.
All right, guys, so I was digging out roots and all the dirt and all the fungus and stuff that was under the boardwalk and I hit something really hard. So I was like, great, now I'm gonna have to dig up rocks under here too so I can level it, but check it out. So oh, it is still wet and mucky from where I'm trying to wash it. But look at this cute little pathway. It's got these like little pebble bricks and it's all like mortared together, basically. I wish I could, it would show up on camera. Maybe I can get a better look at it when it's dry. But it's really adorable and I might not do the bricks now. I don't know, it's so cute. I can use the bricks for something else. What do you think? Of course it looks way cuter in person. <laughs> Come on! Coming. Open your eyes now, silly goose. <gasps> oh my gosh! What do you think? How'd you do that? It was underneath the boardwalk. A concrete? It's like pebble stone and mortar type. So are you not going to do the bricks? I don't think so. It's this super cute. What a waste of time. Now we just have to What do you mean? <laughs> like we got all the bricks. No, no, no. That's it means we can save the bricks for another project. Now it means we have a cool pathway that we didn't have to do and we can save the bricks for a different pathway. So free project? For yeah, pretty much. It looks good. You like it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. It makes it look so like homey mm -hmm. in like a little humble yeah. village. <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. It's it, like it doesn't show up right on the camera, but it's a big it's step so off cute. though. Yeah, we're gonna have to maybe use some of the bricks or something to well, make some steps here. Like but it is a really big step. We can we'll figure it out. No, it's not three step. Look. We also have to figure out because these beams, which were part of the boardwalk are pretty rotted and they're raised really high above the pathway. So they're just gonna fall into the pathway or dirt's gonna fall out underneath them. So I may use the bricks to line it, but I'm not sure if that will look, look right. That you find a goat in the middle of the road, but we just did. So he's in our backyard for now until we can okay, find the owner. Hi! <gasps> <laughs> Can we keep her? No, she, she doesn't belong to us. Well, how'd she get in? I'm gonna post about uh, where I found her, but she was in the road and a bunch of dogs were trying to get at her. She's so beautiful. She's obviously not scared of dogs, but these dogs wanted to hurt her, so. Hey, girl. We gonna find, we gonna find your mama? Huh? Are we gonna find your mama? I hope so. I hope so. Nah. Poor nah. baby. Nah. Were you saying hi to everybody? Nah. Come on, we can go say hi. Nah. You can't go in, but we can say hi. <laughs> nah. Oh, Delilah says nah. hi. Are nah. you a people person too? Nah. Huh? <laughs> They're all curious. Sorry, baby, we gotta keep you on this side, okay? <coughs> well, so far, no one has claimed her, and we decided to go ahead and let her. What are you doing? No! Decided to go ahead and let her in. Nina! Yeah, she looks at me like, I know, sorry. Except for the fact that she's not sorry. <laughs> and now she's gonna try to get out of the pasture. What on earth? What do you guys think? Do you think you can accept her? Or maybe Nova will become old news. Hear that? You've moved up on the totem pole. Nina, be nice. Maple, be nice.
Babies, you have a new friend. Delilah. Come on. Oh, now these two are going at it. <laughs> Well guys, looks like she might be ours. Um, she made it through quarantine. We've had her long enough to put her in with ours. And now we just wait. We posted in a few like neighborhood sites and things like that. Um, and hopefully we can find her mama. And if not, we just got a free beautiful goat in the middle of the road. So I guess that's life here at Barefoot Harvest. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video update and I hope you will come back for more um, as we start doing some more types of videos like DIYs and treating the farm naturally and things like that. So don't forget to subscribe.